Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I'm back with another episode on the TazCraft server. I know you guys are probably expecting Minefighter. Uh, fun fact with that, there are n not enough active people on the server for Beeson to keep it open currently. Um, so yeah, it, the server is temporarily shut down until we get more people. Uh, so we're, we're on TazCraft, which is okay, that's fine, I'm okay with this. Um, actually, I'm happy that this is happening because there's a big project that I want to get started on. Actually, not that big, but pretty big. A decent sized project. Um, and I was really looking forward to it. So let's let's go get started. Now, there's actually quite a bit that we have to mention before we continue on with this video. Um, some of that being tridents. Um, also, some of that being I lost two trident. Uh, not two tridents. I lost my loyalty trident uh, when defeating the ender dragon because I just chucked it into the end void. <laughs> Not my brightest moment. Anyways, um, and then basically this, this right here, this, the, this beacon, yep. Um, okay, so fun fact about this. Basically, I'm, I'm recording this video right here in a later date uh, than the recordings that you'll see in a little bit, and that's because file was corrupted, blah, 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 sad stuff. Anyway, not too much was disturbed, but uh, basically me getting the beacon... Uh, yeah, that that was corrupted. So just got to mention that we have this right now <laughs> um, You guys already know about that uh, The trident farm obviously is how I got all my tridents uh, and basically what we're doing currently is we're up in that farm um, We're trying to actually get more gold so that we can finish this uh, Beacon off so that's gonna be the next clip. I said that a little bit earlier, but then once again file was corrupted So not not great stuff um, also, we digged out a pit over there for some farming, um, and you guys will see that very shortly. It's like right over there. I can't go in there right now though because that'd be massive spoilers of like how it looks. So, yep, that's I think that's basically where we are. Um, so let's let's continue on with the video. All right, guys, I've been killing these guys and killing them and killing them and killing them. First of all, I haven't gotten any tridents, which I find very disappointing. But also, I didn't get many gold either. In fact, I think we're even worse off than we were before because I took three blocks of iron so that I could make, um, what, what was that? Oof, don't know what happened there. Uh, so that I could make a, uh, more hoppers for up there so that we could get more drowns in. Uh, but yeah, we're not doing too great. So I think I'm actually going to go for a mining session. That way we can hopefully get some, um, some good, some good, oh, some iron, sorry guys, um, and some gold and some diamonds, uh, which can all be used to help that thing. Uh, we're of course going to use the diamonds for ourselves, not for the beacon, but you know. Actually, maybe we won't, but yeah. Anyway, let, let's go and go for a one hour mining session, I'd say. So in this time lapse chat, I want to talk to you guys about my channel because it's not like I've never done that before. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I want to talk to you guys about it because it's absolutely taken off for such a small channel that I have going on right now. I have got, like, there is a time where in three days I got 60 subscribers or something like that. Yeah. Wait, 30? The point is, I got, like, basically 10 subscribers every single day and night, which is crazy. Absolutely insane. So thank you guys so much. You guys have been absolutely amazing to all the new people here. Hello, my name's TNTN, as you guys probably already know because I say that every single video. Um, but yeah, so just thank you guys so much. Um, also, my uh, Taz Crafts um, video, the last one I posted, episode 6, The Trident Farm, uh, that one has hit 128 views, which is the first 100 views I've gotten on a single let's play video so I'm I'm so excited guys I just want to say thank you so much for your guys support for your help I'm getting comments almost every day like on a new video and it's just so exciting um, I'll try to be posting more often I know I'm not the best at that still um, honestly the reason I haven't been posting that much is because I've been playing another server with some of my, my cousins I'll try not. I'll try to get back on the server though and post for you guys. Uh, but yeah, it just it's absolutely been incredible. Um, also, I like to say go check out the new people that are here that are coming up later uh, in the video. There's a lot of new people joining, 
So go check them out. Um, links in the description. Go help them grow too because they really deserve a lot of growing because they're both good channels. Um, but yeah, uh, so just thank you guys uh, again just a lot. Um, also, my Infinity Room has hit 25,000 views. Just say, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, just thank you guys and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Alright, well, that was decently successful, especially in diamonds. We have 42 diamonds thanks to Fortune 3. Do we have Fortune 3 now? We do have Fortune 3 now. Um, we really got like, I don't know, 15 diamond ore, but Fortune 3 works wonders. Uh, we got a good amount of iron, so I'm actually gonna go and convert all of that um, to diamond, not diamond, I'm so sorry, um, to iron blocks uh, so that we can put it up over where um, our our beacon is and we can get hopefully far closer Ooh, I don't think this is gonna be like nearly enough we need like 81 blocks on the bottom or something uh, for the ninth layers or not ninth layer for the fourth layer whatever uh, oh that's a creeper right there so not good but uh, sorry right. we'll, we'll get there eventually guys Alright, so I just decided to take out all the ground, which I've already done, and now we're replacing it with dirt so that plants will actually grow. Um, but the thing is, if we head over here, and we actually grab out some rockets and fly up, uh, you'll notice that if we go up here, which is our AFK spot for our drowned farm, uh, that the ground over there, because of a mountain, it's actually still loaded. Um, so we're going to actually have to take off most of that dirt right over there um, just to give this thing maximum um, capability and also there's another reason I want to do that and that's because we don't have dirt and I need dirt so might might as well do something productive while also doing something productive am I right <laughs> all right does it look pretty no did we get a lot of dirt and also hopefully maybe do a little bit work on the spawning yes yes we did I mean like this is how much dirt we got, and also something just hurt me. So what? What was going? There, oh, there's nothing. Oh, skeleton. There, there it is. Uh, but yeah. So let's go and I guess finish up with the dirt over in the farming place. Place hole. Let's call it the farming hole. All right. Well, I got my diamond hole, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get all of this into some nice farmland. Uh, and yes, I am using a diamond hoe because let's face it, what's Minecraft without a diamond hoe in at least one of your uh, loads? So, I mean, like, it is about time that I had. Oh, I forgot water. But I mean, like, it is about time that I, I used a diamond hoe in Minecraft at least once. Right, so, I've spent about an hour just gathering materials uh, because most of my builds are just really functional but aren't that pretty. And like I get that and that's just something that I kind of decided I'm okay with at this point because I find functional for fashion or whatever the statement is or however you say it. Um, but this time I really want it to be functional and I want it to be fashionable. Um, so we have all this material. We're going to go for just, you know, really uh, greenish kind of look. Uh, we're going to use a lot of mossy sort of stuff, uh, a lot of cracked, um, uh, cracked stone and stuff like that as you can all see in here. Um, so yeah, let, let's get started. I've taken out a layer of the walls. Uh, so the real wall is gonna be right here. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll probably redo the ceiling too. Don't know the best way to do this. I'm thinking of time lapse, but it'd be hard to do a third person one. Let's just try a third person one. If it doesn't come out, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> So in this time lapse chat, I want to talk a little bit about the event that I said I'd be holding. Um, <laughs> I said it about a week ago or two weeks ago now, maybe uh, that I'm gonna be my next episode would be a event, and that did not happen, as you guys obviously know, um, because I had this video and another video that came out before. Um, so basically, what's happening on the event? The server is completely ready. I set up two sides, Team Bear and Team TNT, because Tried Up Bear is. A team captain for one team and I'm me TNT and is the captain for the other team um, and then basically I also made this little platform that we're gonna start on whatnot uh, so the server is completely ready but we're still trying to find a date that we're all good with um, but just so you guys know the teams are for team TNT it'll be me IB Beaston Sabrina mystery dragon and tech kit tech kit tech kit tech kit kit yeah, sure. Anyways, and then 
Uh, Tri Depth Bear's team is Team Bear is Tri Depth Bear Kim. Uh, I don't remember their YouTube name. I'm sorry, Kim. Um, he of uh, um, Desert Rose and Crazy Pig Carrots. Uh, there may also be Mikey Pierce, uh, Pierion, Pierion on another team and the Hackster on another team. Uh, but yeah, we're just trying to find a day that works for everyone. Uh, Tried up Bear it can't record for like the next week or so. So expect the next uh, episode to probably be Tazcraft again. Um, but I'm not positive about that yet. Uh, so yeah, just I'll try to keep you guys posted, but no promises. <laughs> Uh, but let's get back to the video, and I hope it, you guys are looking forward to the event. Well, I think that this place looks really good. I'm very, very happy with how it came out uh, for one of my first, like, main actual, like, decorating projects. I'm very happy with it. Um, so now I think I'm going to get some bone meal to make these grow, like, just the few ones that didn't grow, uh, make them grow. And then I'll try to breed my villagers. I don't know how that's going to go, though. Alright, well this is all the carrots that we have, which is a very good amount. Uh, so I'm gonna give like four stacks to my villagers and just keep the rest as emergency food, I suppose. And if our villagers don't breed, I'll just give them more and more and more until their inventories are literally full. And if they don't breed then, I I don't know what to do. Alright, well, I want to go take down a water temple or ocean monument or whatever it's called. Um, so I got my trident, I got like six water breathing potions, uh, might be a little bit overkill, but you never really know. Uh, I also t will take a conduit, but I'll probably hook that up a little bit later uh, once I actually have enough blocks to make a full one, or else it's just going to be really short range and not that great. I got my ri uh, riptide trident, and I also have my loyalty trident with uh, impaling three, uh, and just my main tools and some some of these. Uh, I also will probably, yeah, let's grab our chest plate out too. That should probably help us a lot. Actually, I'll put that on later. And then I also have things I don't really care about in my inventory. Uh, so let's just go. I already know where one is. Actually, we should probably fly there instead. I don't think it is. This is pretty far away, I'm pretty sure, from what I remember. Anyway, well, let's go see how this how this goes. We're going for sponges, by the way. That's what we really want. Okay, I did not come at all prepared. Um, so first of all, my elytra is almost broken, uh, I don't, didn't have any wood, luckily there are some trees around here, I don't have my conduit, uh, what else did I forget? Oh yeah, I also had, like, no food, I had two pieces of fish left, uh, and also I didn't repair my trident, so we're probably gonna have to do that so it doesn't just break on me in the middle of battle, um, so yeah, let, let's go grab everything that we need and actually come prepared this time. So I'm inside, um, and the main room, ooh, nope, tridents are super helpful, by the way. Uh, the main room's right there, um, and basically what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying, obviously, not to die right now. Uh, but also I want to get the big guys that are giving me mining fatigue, because that's not cool. I want that out of here. Uh, so that's the first thing that we're going to be trying to do, is locate those guys. I know where some of them are, but... I know where one is, but I don't know where the other guy is, because I'm pretty sure that I there's two. Okay, there's a lot of guys over here, and this is why Riptide's very handy in this situation. So, one of the guys... Ooh, oh, dude, I don't have my light shirt, dang. Uh, so, one of the guys is right over there, and uh, the other guy, I think, is somewhere in here, but I'm not positive. Only problem is, obviously, we have these guys to deal with. They are very, very annoying been doing pretty good so far, but I don't know how much longer I can keep it up with, you know, trident durability and whatnot. So let's just try to take down that guy first, and then we'll try to take care of the other guys. Ah, this is so hard. Okay, so we got the big guy. Here he is. And then now we just have to go for the other guy after we kill this guy. Come on, come on, die. Please die. Okay, please, please, sir, please. Oh my gosh, how? Okay, there we go. Oof. And you also got ahead. Nice. Um, yeah, but we got mining fatigue again. So I think I'm going to go out and I'm going to try and get another thing of milk. Because I think over here, yep, we got some cows, which is very nice. This is going pretty well, actually. Good news is I found the other guy. Bad news is 
Oh, there's a lot of other guys in here. Uh, I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. Okay, let's try to escape. Let's try to escape. Oof, there's a lot of guys in there. Oh, dear. Okay, let's try to get this guy to stop. Uh, oh, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> Alright. Well, at least we found him. <sighs> Please don't tell me that there's a third guy, too, in, on the other side. Because I just realized there is another other side, too. Ugh. Alright, we're gonna have to just go for it. I don't know if I'm gonna record it. I'm just gonna tell you guys how it went. Because recording and fighting and talking, not the easiest for me. <laughs> so, good news. I killed him, actually. Um, it went pretty smooth. I went around that loop thing, the little pillar at the beginning. And I was throwing my loyalty trident at them. Uh, which went really well. I hope that comes back. Um, but yeah. Um, so I killed him. I don't know if there's one on the other side. Oh, why am I killing this cow? We actually need his milk. Um, but yeah, so now hopefully we can start mining. And if I get mining fatigue again, I'm gonna be upset. Because that means that there's another one on the other side. <sighs> but hopefully we can set up our conduit now. Let's, let's go try and hope we don't get mining fatigue. So we no longer have mining fatigue, so I'm trying to look at how many blocks we need. I think we need about 40 something, but not positive. Let, let me recount again. 42. We need 42 blocks. We have 19 currently. Um, so that's enough to do one loop, which we might set up right now. Or actually, let, let's waste all our water breathing potions first, then we'll do it. Um, but yeah, so that shouldn't be too hard to get now that we don't have mining fatigue, I believe. I don't think we do. I'm not positive about that still. But I cleared out most of the guys in here, which is really good. Uh, still looks like there's a few, and remember, they do respawn, so not super fun, but it's alright. Um, but yeah, it's going pretty good right now. I think that we have definitely gotten past the hardest part, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop recording because it's kind of hard to talk and fight right now. <laughs> Are you kidding? I got mining fatigue. That means that there's one more guy somewhere. Uh, he's probably on the other side. Alright. Well, let's drink our bucket of milk and then have a water breathing potion right after that. And then let's go fight this guy. Ugh, I really don't want to have to deal with another. Okay, uh, there's a lot, guys. Ugh. And let's just... Mm, mm. Okay, great. And he hopefully is in here somewhere. Not quite sure where. Oh, there he is. Okay, great. Let's go take care of that. Alright, he's dead, but he gave us mining fatigue at the last second, so now we have to go get another cow and waste uh, three minutes of, or four minutes of uh, water breathing, so not the best, but it's alright. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're actually good now. I, I, I don't think that there's any more that are in there, and we also have three wet sponges now, so we just have to dry those and then we're good, and then we have to go take out the middle room, which is the hardest room, of course. And where's my other wet sponge? Huh, I guess I didn't grab it. That's too bad. But we do have three Elder Guardian heads. Um, but yeah, let's go get our other sponges and kill some more guys and whatnot. I hate taking down these things so bad, so much. They're just so annoying. Alright, we got our conduit, so the rest should be pretty easy. Let's go into the sponge- oh. You know, I kind of, I don't know how, but I kind of forgot about all these guys. It should be not easy, but we'll do it anyway. Let's, let's break in. So here is like the place that I was at the beginning. The main room's right over there, I believe. All right, let's do it. All right, well, I did it. That was very easy, actually. I basically just hit them with my uh, loyalty trident from a safe distance, and that's about it. But we got a lot of gold, which is good, uh, because our beacon. So that's absolutely awesome, and I'm very happy about that. But we're here for the sponges, and that's our main reason. So gotta go find those. <laughs> Here's one. All right, I don't know the best way to break these, actually. I don't know if it's with an axe. I think I have an Oh, maybe it's with shears? Because I got some of those. Hopefully, hopefully. Nope, not any faster, I don't think. 
Uh, I might go look that up really fast. So apparently ev everything breaks sponges at the same speed, which is pretty slow. Uh, so definitely not the best, but it, it's all right. We'll deal with it. It's always better to have sponges than not have sponges and break at a slower pace to whatever. You guys know what I mean. Uh, but anyways, we have 14 and we still have a good amount left in here. Uh, so that's awesome. But also, we actually have people on for once. They have a bad connection. Wow. But we actually have someone on, which is really cool. Haven't really seen anyone on since uh, Try That Depth Bear like, left the server, which I'm still very sad about. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that new people are finally coming along and joining the server. Um, and yeah. But anyway, I'm going to get back to getting sponges and looking for some more sponge rooms. Alright, well that went pretty well. In the end we got 29 sponges, which I was hoping for more, but it's alright. I'm happy with what I got. Um, we also got some more of these guys, and we need to go get our conduit back. Oh yeah, we also have those two sponges. So we have 31. That's pretty good. Uh, we also got some gold, which is awesome for our beacon. I used all of our, um, our potions, but that's alright. So uh, I say let's just go back, grab our be uh, conduit, and head home. All right, well, I'd say that was crazy successful. Um, that went way better than I thought, actually. I did not die once, which I was planning to die, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm very happy with how that went, and I think we can start to pack up and head home. I think we can throw out that, and we'll probably keep that. Actually, we don't need it. We have so much cooked cod at home. Uh, but yeah, let's head back to our base. And also, I do kind of want to give the person that has joined the server uh, a little gift, just like a little, like, hey, you know, here's something, to, I hope you have a good time on the server, so let's go do that really fast. Dang it, I should have kept that cooked cod, there's a cat. I'm gonna go back for it, I want this cat. I don't, do I have a cat? Oh, I think my cat died. Yeah. So I want this cat, let's go get this cat. Also, we, we need safe space, so let's drink these. It looks like the cat's gone, and that makes me very sad. Uh, but anyway, let's go give this guy a gift, because he has to actually get offline very soon. And, you know, I, I want to give him the gift before he gets offline, so let, let's go do that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm giving him 10 diamonds and a trident. I know what you're probably thinking, T TNT, and you're going to be selling tridents, don't you understand that? And, I mean, like, yeah, I'm going to probably throw away some profit, but, I mean, eh. He seems like a nice guy, and I, f I feel like I'm... I want. I, I feel like in a good mood right now, so why not? I'm gonna tell him to meet at spawn. All right, so here we go. I got ten diamonds and a trident. There you go, buddy, old pal. Yep. All right, I'm happy here. And also another reason I gave him the trident is because he he has 61 deaths. I mean, like he'll he'll probably die again <laughs> and lose his trident. So I mean, like he'll have to buy one again anyways. But <laughs> yep. That's where I am right now. Um, how much longer do we have on this video? How, how long? Okay. But also, there's this new guy on the server. His name is uh, the Hackster, and I'm gonna give him a shoulder box filled with goodies. It's like a trident, uh, ten diamonds, uh, a conduit because I know he's gonna be in the Atlantic district, and also um, uh, foreign mending books. That's what it was. This is the, no, this is wait. This is the right shoulder box. Um, so yeah, I think that's a great gift for someone, uh, in the Atlantic District. Uh, he's right next to me. That's my starter base. This is his starter base. Uh, don't worry, he asked me beforehand if he could build here. I said yes. Um, only problem is that I was planning to build my base right here. Right here. Uh, this is exactly where he wants to build his base. Um, so we'll figure it out. Oh, there's a pillager right in the middle of the ocean. Why do these guys spawn right in the middle of the ocean? Uh, but anyway, so we'll figure that out. Uh, but as of right now, I'm just going to give him his little shulker box of goodies to find in his next episode. We took it. He took his gift and he was very happy with it. You can go see in his video. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all we have time for. I think I already went over the 20 minute mark that I like to put on videos because 30 minutes is just way too long to watch a video in my opinion. Um, also we breed cows, just gonna point that out there. Looks like a lot of them have grown. So we got Meadow, uh, we got Unnamed, no we got Name You. Um, and then we got Daisy, we got Timmy, and then we got Timmy Jr. Um, 
Oh, wait, did I just breed? Okay, never mind. To me, it did go with Daisy. That's good. I don't want them having to make babies with their own big son. Okay, never mind. We're gonna stop talking about that. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more videos, then please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps out the channel a lot. It's it's really, really awesome. Um, also, leave a comment because those are always fun to read. Um, and I hope you guys, I, ooh, that was weird, sorry. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Uh, goodbye.